Now, iPhones are beautiful devices. I love my iPhone so much. And one of the best things we can do on our iPhone is to have some sort of like a bloated experience. Now, iPhones typically don't have too much craziness going on in the background, but there's a few things I'd recommend doing in order to kind of de bloat your phone and remove a lot of unnecessary things you no longer pretty much need on your device. The first thing I'd recommend doing is actually not even with its main display, it's actually with its lock screen. Within iOS 16, we now have the ability of adding a lot more lock screen, you know, widgets and everything like that. What I would recommend doing is going through within your phone and pretty much removing anything you no longer need within your device. So there are lots and lots of different things and wallpapers that we can choose from. There's also lots of widgets that we can choose from as well. But if I were you, I would probably go through and not only remove some of the lock screen widgets that you no longer need, so as you can see, if you click right here, if you click customize, you can have all sorts of widgets and stuff you can add up here if you want to. If I were you, I would go through and just probably remove and reduce some of these widgets that you no longer need. It'll save up a little bit of battery life and a little bit of performance gain, kind of. It's like slight, but I wouldn't really do it because of that. I would do it just to kind of save, you know, a little bit of, you know, bloat from your device. But also, you can swipe up and you can also remove those specific, you know, lock screens as well. And I would recommend doing that, like this lock screen I no longer need anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And I'd recommend doing that for ones that you no longer need. Now swiping up, a big common one is the widgets on your home screen. So just going through and again, removing the amount of widgets that you have on your home screen is probably going to be a great thing. But also the widgets on your side panel here. If you're no longer using any of these widgets, I don't use half of these. So all I really need to do is just go ahead and remove some of these widgets just like this. Just simply remove them just like that. And I would highly recommend doing that. That's probably going to be one of the other things you can do to kind of clean out the back of your phone and kind of keep things smooth and moving in the background. Now, on top of that, another thing I'd recommend doing is within these applications. There are so many applications built within our iPhone that we probably don't need and probably will never need for a majority of people out there. So I would recommend going through, finding every single app that you no longer need anymore and just removing it. You can also make your way straight into your settings application just like this. You can scroll down into your general settings right here and you can click on iPhone storage and you can pretty much see exactly which applications are taking up the most amount of data. And I would just recommend once again going through here and just deleting the ones you no longer need. For example, scrolling through, if I see iMovie right here and I never used iMovie before, I would just go ahead and tap on iMovie and I would just remove this application. This is an application that is built in within every single iPhone. It's also completely free. It's also a good application. But if you no longer need it or if you don't even know what it is, I would just recommend deleting this application. That's a massive thing I'd recommend doing. Same exact thing with Keynote. If you have any of these built-in Apple applications that are made by Apple, just go ahead and delete them if you no longer need them. And that's a big, massive thing I'd recommend doing. So Pages is another one. I just go over here, click on Delete, click on Delete App. And that's going to be a big thing you can do to kind of clean out the background of your iPhone because that's probably going to end up fixing it. Like I said, for a lot of people and kind of clean your iPhone out. Now, as always, you can delete or just remove these applications from the home screen. If you no longer need them or if they're being annoying or whatever, you can always remove them that way. And that's another option you have as well. And on top of everything, make sure you're keeping your iPhone up to date, making sure your iPhone is you know, good and everything like that. But that is, those are pretty much the main ways, in my opinion, that you can pretty much still de bloat your iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, all then.